Uh, hi, uh, we're at Hilly Farm this morning. I'm with uh, Barry Jones from Hilly Farm. Um, and the reason Shropshire Wildlife Trust, AgriVista, EFA Environment, um, and the Hilly Farm a farm business here, we've been running a maize crop trial for the last year, looking at under sowing and, and cover crops. Maize has got a really poor environmental profile. Um, Partly that's because there's lots of bare soil at the wrong time of year, um, but clearly there's lots of cultivation techniques that are out there, um, and we were pondering why aren't they be adopted? Um, can we just use ordinary farmyard kit? Uh, and Barry has very, very kindly agreed to, to run the trial here. So, Barry, we've we sort of had to look at using a conventional crop, um, your standard sort of maize crop. And how's it gone this year? I would say uh, it's gone very successfully. I think we've had tremendous. Uh, um, weather conditions for the job couldn't have had better weather conditions for for, for growing these type of trials. Um, and well, I, from my point of view, it's been very interesting. I've learned a lot about uh, the aspects of reducing soil erosion and nitrogen fixing and phosphorus uh, fixing, so, so to reducing the phosphorus erosion to the to the water courses. And uh, I'd be very happy to do the trials with uh, yourselves and uh, Agrivista. And I think that I mean the key question has been talking to Barry about um, the, the, the sort of effort involved in it. Um, and the, the key question really is, would you next year uh, use an undersown crop on on your maize field? I think very much so. I think we've got to look at. Uh, I mean, the most important ingredient. I keep, you know, I've something I've sort of very much um, embraced is the fact that as a farmer, our most important ingredient as a farmer is the soil that we use, whether we're growing a cereal crop or a maize crop or pigs or sheep or whatever and um, this is definitely a, a technique to protect our soils from disappearing really so yeah well, I think we will definitely look at this uh, next year.